Teammates call him Wets. And Weiss is having a great year as Giannis shoots it deep. And that's right on the money. As if the disc had a honing radar to the speeding Mike Pardo into the end zone. Cam Burden's missed the last couple of games. Minnesota's grateful to have him back as his crafty throw finds Snyder again. Got to get him a jersey with his own name on it for all he's done in the first quarter. Oh, that required a bid, but it's a great save by Gallagher. And stepping through the double team to Burl. Weiss. Giannis coming across. Double team peels off. That's a great little give and go, and it leaves Raider open in the end zone again. You can only get away with so many switches and poaches at the front of the stack. Minnesota team opened the season with 30 assists in his first five games, averaging six a game. He only has five assists total in his last two games. And there's the block. Ross Barker picks it off. We'll see the yard line trying to rip flicks and backhands and couldn't cleanly or reliably get it to the 10 yard line. Giannis into the end zone, Raider reads it, and in one throw, the wildfire strike. Such a dangerous duo, and Raider read it better. The possibility of a Winnipeg home game in sure. a future season. Why not? Giannis shooting it. Oh, that disc popped up at the right moment. Have been so far in this game. That was the first for Minnesota as Giannis rips it. Two members of the wildfire and it hits Raider in stride. Team and defensive points played. This wildfire team has a ton more firepower as well. Seth Weaver in his brother's wedding this weekend as we see Vanoka skying for the upwind score. A quick strike for Minnesota. 25 minutes of play. I'm going to narrow it down from those three to two, and it, it's going to be between. Clay to the end zone. Quinn Snyder adds to his case with a tremendous layout snag for Minnesota. It's going to be between Quinn Snyder and Pavel Giannis, if you ask me. Case, throw a quick little extra glance out of the corner of your eye. Burden shooting it. Ladyman in pursuit, unable to make the catch. Many of Pavel's wildfire teammates have taken to imitating Giannis's pump fakes as we see Barker let it fly, but he didn't get enough on it. We continue now. Kittleson back to Johnson. Here's Vinoka. The all-star throws to the end zone to give the wind chill the lead. The wind gritting its teeth again. That pull sails just across midfield. First throw, Huck right on the money. What a put. Vinoka runs it down. I went through a similar exercise with some other Ultimate Media friends. Deep shot goes up. Contested, well read, and caught. I'll tell you, if Quinn Snyder was in the All-Star game, he would get drafted pretty high too. Fourth quarter, will they do so trailing by one or by two? Three seconds left, and that was unbelievably easy for Minnesota. The Midwest madness as Klain blades the flick. Ladyman adjusted to it, tipped it, and it's caught by his teammate in the end zone. Cam Burden saves the day off the deflection. This is why you do the tip drill in practice. Raider makes the catch with Kittleson on the mark. Up the line, Giannis tries to greatest it and he can't get it back in. Needs a reset, gets it to Brendan McCann. Tumble, but kept his pivot foot. Christian Johnson, that'll work. 
Giannis have tried to toe tap it in. This one's gonna need to work for the wildfire and it does. One more completion will do it and that will be enough. Greenberg makes the catch with five seconds remaining and those seconds disappear as Minnesota walks away with a one goal win over the wildfire.